Good morning. It is Friday, July 1st. Happy Canada Day if anybody in Canada is watching. My husband works with primarily Canadian customers, so we don't celebrate Canada Day, but I do know that it's Canada Day. Um, it's a long weekend here in the United States because of 4th of July. Not that that means anything to me because I'm a teacher on summer vacation. So pretty much the entire month of July is a long weekend. <laughs> but I am participating in the Zebra Yarns four-day knit-along where you pick some zebra yarns from Anna. Her yarn is beautiful. If you haven't checked her out, check her out on Instagram. And I think Etsy, I'll have her store linked down below. But you pick some zebra yarns, you cast on on July 1st, and you knit a pair of socks by July 4th. We're gonna, I'm gonna vlog the process and see if I can knit a pair of socks in four days. I'm also using a new to me pattern. Um, I'm going to use the Magic Heel Socks, um, which is a paid for pattern, so I won't talk too much about it, but <laughs> new pattern, four days, two socks. Let's do this. So I am on my way to a doctor's appointment, um, my post-op surgery appointment, um, but I thought I would show you guys what notions I have um, and the bag that I chose. And then I'm going to get knitting while we drive. So I have my bag from So Crazy Crafter. I love this bag so much. My college mascot was a squirrel, Gladys the squirrel. So anything squirrel related, I'm here for. And this bag is just so much fun. And it's canvas. I love it. I also have a pair of super snips that I got from the Crazy Sock Lady because I'm doing um, a contrasting cuff and toe. I have a tape measure, my tin of stitch markers, and a darning needle from the Crazy Sock Lady. I have my Kitchener Stitch, oops, let me switch that, there we go. My Kitchener Stitch little cheat card. I have my needles. US 1.5s of my main color of yarn, which is a red and white striping yarn. And then I have my blue mini. This set together at Zebra Yarns is called the Red, White, and Blue. So let's cast on. because she's amazing and still puts together an Easter basket for me, which I think is so fun. It's a black and tan dachshund, like our little bandit with a sunflower, which is my favorite. And it says, you are my sunshine. And then on the back, it has all of these facts about dachshunds. And it's just, it's just the cutest thing. And it's still morning. So I needed my coffee on the way to the doctor's appointment. Sean is driving. My husband is driving. So no worries about me talking um, to my camera while I'm driving. So I got one row done and I realized that I never told you guys why, like who I'm knitting the sock for or anything like that. I'm sorry for all the bouncing around the road we're on is, is one of the older ones because like you can't cinch that up a little bit. Um, so I am knitting this pair of socks for our next foreign exchange student. We're getting a young lady from North Macedonia, which is 
really cool. Like we are both very excited about this and she seems very sweet and very excited to come to America and study. She'll be here for the year. She'll arrive in August and leave in June. Um, she will be our third foreign exchange student. We have our oldest daughter, that's what we call her. Our oldest daughter is from Poland and she was here with us from 2019 to 2020. So she was here through the closure and the pandemic heck of a year to come to America <laughs> for your exchange year. And then our second student was here from August to December of 2022. No, 2021. Um, she was from Ukraine. She went home for quite a few reasons, one of which being that they were fairly convinced the war was coming, the invasion was coming. And, um, and I talked about that during Vlogmas and but um, our newest daughter will be here in August and I want to have a welcome to America gift for her um, like a little welcome to America basket and one of the things I want to have in it is a pair of socks and so I saw this yarn from Zebra Yarns from Anna and I was like I wanted to try her yarn for a while and when I saw this I was like yes I need that in my life and so I bought it and then I figured out, then I saw something on Instagram about the knit along. And I was like, well, that's perfect because then it, um, it gives me motivation to knit them and not put them off and procrastinate, which I'm a little prone to do. So we are almost to my doctor's appointment. I only have one row done. You know, what are you going to do? Um, but hopefully I get good news from the doctor. Hopefully the wait isn't too long, but if it is, I have my knitting and I will see you guys after. So I am done at the doctor's office. I did pigtails today, so I keep messing with them because I don't ever put my hair in pigtails. I only got a couple rows done. I don't know, I find it weird knitting in doctor's offices because I hate putting my project down when I'm halfway, like when I'm in the middle of a row. Um, but we are almost back home. We ordered, I online ordered Village Inn um, because I have been seriously wanting some pancakes. <laughs> and Village Inn has some amazing breakfast. So Sean's grabbing that and then we're gonna head home and let the dogs out of their crates and just kind of enjoy the rest of our day doing, for me, doing some knitting. I gotta get this. <laughs> I gotta keep up with my cows, so I knit along. So yeah, that's it. So I didn't say what the doctor said. <laughs> um, she was very happy with my reports of my recovery um happy with what she saw she said everything looks really good um i should i guess say here that if you haven't seen on my podcast um two weeks ago i had a partial hysterectomy and so today was the um, post-op appointment for that two weeks after I'm still on the same restrictions. I can't lift anything heavier than 10 pounds. I can't do any um, housework. Um, I can go for walks around the neighborhood um, with our dogs, but if I do that, I have to take a dog that doesn't pull. So basically I can only walk Bandit. I can't walk Copper and Finley because they pull really, like they pull on their leashes. Um, but anyway, she was really happy with where I am, but it's another four weeks of heavy restrict what I'm calling heavy restrictions because it's very different to what I usually do <laughs> um so yeah I guess that means I'm gonna knit sounds good to me so I finished the cuff of the first sock, I did a two by two rib for 15 rounds and I added a stitch marker progress keeper from three by the C designs. It's like a little 
gumball machine. I don't know. It's just really fun. I haven't used this one yet. So one and two, there's no way it's going to actually like show you guys. Anyway, but I'm ready to move to switch to the solid yarn. And I remembered that the other day I finished a yarn cozy. So this yarn is um, Desert Vista Dye Works Slumdog Millionaire. And this is the Yarn Cozy Light by Natalie, who is Knitty Natty. And I finished the cuff while watching her video, The Perfect Cake. Um, it's how she winds her yarn using her ball winder and her Swift. And she mentioned her Yarn Cozy at the end. And I was like, hey, I have one of those. I should get it. So this is the red and white yarn. My husband saved the tail for me because he remembered that I have a yarn cozy. I did not, but he did. And he winds all of my yarn for me because if I touch the ball winder, it knows and it instantly goes to yarn barf. I don't know how it knows, but it knows. So let's see how this works. She said you have to kind of smush it and then wrap it. <gasps> this is so fun. Ta-da! Okay. And then you center pull. That's pretty cool. It's my first ever yarn cozy. And I really, really like it. Now I've got to like fix it because I need my stripes to be straight. <laughs> that's so fun. Okay, that's really cool. I'm going to go geek out over my yarn cozy and start on my leg. I did decide that because <laughs> four days, two socks. Come on. Let's just add more stuff. I am going to knit the Magic Heel pattern and the string of lights pattern by sock witchery because i don't know really the size of our foreign exchange students but i know what size shoe she wears but that's only going to give me the length not the circumference so i thought if i could add something that has a little bit of ribbing that might be good because it'll make it stretch and contract a little more than just a straight stockinette sock so I'm going to try to combine the two patterns. So combine the string of hearts, excuse me, the string of lights sock by sock witchery with the magic heel socks. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Saturday. It is July 2nd, day two of the Zebra Yarns four-day cow. And I thought I'd hop on really quick and show my progress from yesterday, talk about the patterns and how I'm kind of keeping track of them before I get going again on some knitting. So this is what I've got so far. If I was doing a traditional heel, like I think I'd be about halfway through, but this is what it looks like when you do the magic heel. I have a progress keeper marking where my cuff ended, a progress keeper on the front marking where the heel started, and a progress keeper on the back marking where the heel started. All of these are from 3 by the Sea Designs, who I will have linked down below because I've not done this pattern before and I figured I'd rather be safe than sorry on having too many stitch markers or progress keepers versus not enough. So that's what I went with. Um, but this is, this is where I'm at. 
This yarn is amazing. Anna, if you're watching this, your yarn is beautiful to look at and amazing to work with. And I just love the squishiness of this string of lights pattern from this from Sock Witchery. And I don't know, it's fun doing something different. So my goal today for day two of the cow is to finish sock number one. I'm going to knit all of the heel and the foot in this red and white, and then I'm gonna switch back to the blue for the toe. So that's my goal for today. Day two, knit the rest of sock number one. Let's see if I can do it. of the Zebra Yarns four day knit along. I have finished sock number one. My goal was to finish it yesterday, Saturday evening, and I did not. I finished it this morning, Sunday morning. That's okay, I'm just a little bit behind. I'm not worried about it. This is the sock, it looks big because it's on a pretty big sock blocker. That was just so I could show it off. Um, to you guys in all of its glory. But when I take it off the sock blocker, you're gonna see <laughs> what I am calling the magic of ribbing. <laughs> this looks so small when it's off a sock blocker. <laughs> so crazy to me. It's so small, but it's done. Blue, red and white, blue. I have a ton of progress keepers from three by the sea designs and um light bulb stitch markers helping me count my rows and measure and all that stuff um because again this is the first time i'm doing the magic heel pattern um i did want to show you guys i am putting my summer sock camp journal from mad cow mandy designs to good use excuse me to good use I was trying to figure out how long to knit the foot of my sock, the cuff of my, or the leg of my sock, the cuff, like all of, I was just, oh, I was trying to figure this out. So I actually like, took a page in my summer sock camp journal and wrote out all of the measurements for everything. So I did a one and a half inch cuff, which ended up being 15 rounds. I did a three and a half inch leg, which was 30, no, 40 rounds. I did five inches of the heel because my goal was that her heel will sit halfway through the ribbing of the heel. So that was 50 rounds. Then I did five inches for the foot, which was 50 rounds. And then I did two inches of the toe. And if this wasn't confusing enough, this is a two by two rib. The cuff is a two by two rib. The leg is in the string of lights pattern by Sock Witchery. The heel 
is the Magic Heel Socks on the heel side and the String of Lights pattern on the top of the foot. Then I did just the String of Lights pattern for the foot and then I did the Magic Heel for the toe. Because <sighs> I didn't think knitting a pair of socks in four days was enough. I needed to make it this, <laughs> this intense. So I'm hoping the second sock goes faster because I've already done all the work. I'm not going to have to stop and measure and do all of that stuff. I'm just going to have to count the rows because I made a list and made a chart to keep track of how many rows I knit for each section. So now it should just be count the rows and go. Um, I did make all of these notes over here on the, in the journal, excuse me, and I have put those on my Ravelry project page. So if you are interested in the, the Frankenstein way I put these two patterns together, it's on my project. It's on my Ravelry project page and you can email me um, or send me a message on Instagram if you have any questions. It's, you know, it's been a process. But anyway, sock number one is done. I love it. I love this pattern. I love the Magic Heel Socks pattern. I love the String of Lights pattern. So watch this space because these will not be the last time. This will not be the last time you see both of these patterns, it may not even be the last time you see both of these patterns together. <laughs> so, sock number one is done. Now we're going to get to sock number two. My parents are going to come over today for a 4th of July cookout, picnic. Well, it's not a picnic. We're not going to eat outside. Um, a 4th of July cookout. Um, we're going to make, Sean and I are going to make pavlova. Um, which is a typical, uh, typical, no, traditional, that's the word, traditional Australian dessert, um, and one of the favorites of our family. So, um, yeah, you guys will probably see some footage of that, and hopefully you'll see some footage of a really, of a lot of progress on sock number two. Good morning, happy Monday, July 4th. Today is day four, the final day of the Zebra Yarns four day knit along. So it's today or nothing. Um, so it's July 4th. Um, if you are in the United States, I mean, I think you guys, I think most people know that Old Navy puts out a fourth of july themed shirt every year um we started buying these a couple of years ago it's just like a fun little tradition typically what we do is we buy 
the shirts that we wear on um, July 4th and we buy one for our foreign exchange students. So she obviously will not wear hers on July 4th because she doesn't have it yet, but she'll have a cute little American themed shirt when she gets here in August. That'll be part of her Welcome to America basket with her socks. So um, my goal yesterday was to finish the, sorry, it's all tangled, finish the heel portion of sock number two. Um, I did not get there. I got over halfway through the heel section, but um, not all the way. So I've got some, some knitting to do today. I have quite a bit of knitting to do today. I have about 70 rows plus the toe. So 20, a little less than 20 rows of the heel section, 50 rows of the foot, and then the two inches of the toe. It seems daunting when I say it out loud. We're gonna see. Four days to knit a pair of socks is a big challenge. I thought I was doing well to knit a pair of socks in a week with Knitting Natty's Sock Week every summer. Anna has been really pushing me to, I say Anna like she's doing this now, her knit along has been really pushing me to see if I can stay focused on one project at a time and just power through. And I'm, I'm impressed by how much I've been able to knit over this long weekend. So, fingers crossed that I can finish <laughs> uh, my pair of socks and meet the challenge, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Today, Sean and I have, my husband and I have no plans. Um, we don't usually go anywhere for 4th of July. We have a... Um, Beagle, who is Finley. Thank you. She tried to chew a pillow that is not hers. Um, uh, hold on one second. Now she's chewing the couch. Finley. Good girl. Just after we were praising her for not chewing things she isn't supposed to, she went after a pillow and the couch. <sighs> Puppy stage. It'll be over soon, one day, maybe. I don't know, probably not. Anyway, what was I saying? We we don't have any plans. Um, our beagle, Copper, um, he is really afraid of fireworks. He will cower, um, shake, cry. He just wants to cuddle with mama when um, there's fireworks going on. And we've had some fireworks really close to us, um, just our neighbors setting off fireworks. So we don't have any plans today. We're going to stay home and um, Sean is sewing and I'm knitting and just kind of keep copper away from any big things that are happening in the neighborhood. But yeah, I think that's it for this morning. Um, I'm not sure what footage you'll see after this because I'm not sure. You know, we're not doing anything today but knitting and sewing. But I just love how squishy this is. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I need to stop playing with the sock and start knitting the sock. And we'll see if I can get this sock done today. Cross your fingers for me. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, July 5th. Um, the Zebra Yarns four-day knit-along ended 
yesterday. And as you would have seen just pretty much right before this um, comes on the video, I finished. Oh my gosh. What? Are you kidding me? I can't even believe it. I am in shock that I finished a pair of socks in four days. The fastest I have ever knit a pair of socks before this, I think was like six or seven days with Knitty Natty in sock week. Can't say that anymore. Four days. So excited. Anna's yarn is absolutely amazing. I loved both the String of Lights pattern and the Magic Heel pattern. I love these socks. I hope Deresia loves these socks. I had a lot of fun knitting along with the um, the group that was knitting them on Instagram, making some new friends. This was just a lot of fun. So now I get to wash and block them and get them ready for Deresia's arrival at the end of August and get started on my next pair of socks. If you watched my podcast last week, you know that I have a pretty, I made a pretty tight schedule for myself for July. So my next goal is to knit my Desert Vista Dye Work socks between today, July 5th and Saturday, July 9th so that I'm ready to cast on for sock week with Knitty Natty on July 10th. So it is all socks all the time here in the Dog Mom Knits household. Thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment below and let me know the fastest you've ever knit a pair of socks. I gotta go cake up some, well, I gotta go ask Sean to cake up some yarn. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye!